Gang, the Through the Roof Tour is rolling through the Northeast, baby. We're coming to Norwalk, Connecticut, and we added a second show with the Wilbur Theater up there in Boston, Massachusetts. Everybody pack the car and come to the show. Yeah. All tickets are available at areyougarbage.com. The live shows are a mix of stand-up and AYG. You know it's a good time. Get the Army of Garbage and let's go. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Oh, yeah. It's that little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find it at the group to be classy. Yeah. Or they're just a big old piece of trash. Garbage. I'm your host, Tate Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're out back here with Tootie's in a new edition. Just heard the ambulance going away. Oh, no. Knock somebody out. She did. Woo. She's playing a knockout game. Got a right hook. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> Shout out to it. You ever see her? No. Woo. Hands like lightning. <laughs> Breath like a dragon. <laughs> My co is coming at you from across the table. Jeez. He is the CEO of Are You Garbage. Mm-hmm. He is an international businessman. And let me tell you kids out there something. Next time you're for a best pal, do yourself a favor. You make it a kippy. <laughs> hey, what's up, gang? <laughs> Thanks for- Tastes like cigarettes. Thank- <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, view, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. As you know, those numbers are through the road. 200K. Cooking, baby. Right there. Right there. Ooh, and right then the obviously. Spot. I don't know about you guys, but it's my favorite website of all time, mm-hmm. www.patreon.com. I enjoy you the programming. You go over there, you get a bonus episodes of AYG Weekly, you get you can get bonus episodes of Hard Feelings Weekly, mm-hmm. you get all the other videos we've done, which has to be about, I don't know, 50 videos or something There's like that. There's a lot that. going on over there. Yeah, it's fantastic. Check it out, gang. And the island videos are about to go up, too. Yes, sir. Yeah, good, good time. How about a nice shout out to our producer extraordinaire? The magic man makes us all look good. Works the ones, the twos, the threes, and the fours. Crosses T's and he dots I's. T Bone McScruffins. Toby, the big dong, McMullen, everybody. What up, boys? What's up, what up, pal? B D. In the in the heart of spring, it's nice out Ooh. there. Give me a sweet tea, a rocking chair on a front porch. I'm ready to talk some trash. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Couple of racist remarks. You know who's having a baby out of wedlock? What? <laughs> You ain't heard that from me, though. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> that was T back then. Now you get you find out a uh, there was a bastard child on the Some, way. <laughs> somebody got knocked up. <laughs> yeah, they used to, that was nuts. You'd see, you used to be able to send the lady away when she got knocked up. I go have the baby somewhere else. <laughs> Keep the pride of the family. I up. know that's crazy. That was always such a. We had two or three of them. Also, I think back in the day, people would just take that at face value. If you were like, what happened to your sister Megan today? And they'd be like, oh, we're not sure. They'd be the the news would be called. No, you don't send the sister. You don't send the the lady who's having. You send the baby away. No, because then they see that she's pregnant. You hide her for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that's the, what they did. They would send the baby away. No, they would send the woman away too to go have a baby at like the cousin's house or something. Yeah, that's what I mean. And then she shows up. Hey, what's going on? I was in rehab. Yeah, like exactly. That. That's what I'm saying. I was I was learning how to read me good. Or they'd send you to the convent. To the nunnery. Yeah, to the nunnery. Mm-hmm. Knocked up in a nunnery. The nuttery. <laughs> Is that your dirty videos? <laughs> how they all started? <laughs> yeah. We had a couple of those. What, it all fa- worked out. In the family? I don't want to get specific here. I don't think we ever had any <laughs> children out of wedlock. Ruin in all that hard work, sending them away and hiding the paperwork. And <laughs> yeah, <stuff. sure>. Shit. <laughs> they got the gas money. Just sent them to Italy for a couple of weeks. Uh, I don't think we ever had any uh, every, Irish Catholic. Everybody got married for, I think that would, uh, you know, no, there was no uh, hanky panky. A lot, mm-hmm. of, a lot of good amount of divorces, though. Yeah. Any uh, shotgun weddings? <laughs> Uh, maybe in my mom's generation, like my aunt, but I don't think so. Not, I mean, I don't think so, no. I mean, she comes from like 50 kids. They were booning. Sure. But they all got married young. Like, they all got married at like 21 or whatever. You know what I mean? So there was no like, uh, I don't think there was any. You marry your high school sweetheart. Yeah, or like you someone, get married at the at the Union Hall or whatever it is. Union, we didn't have Union Hall. They were doing it in row homes in Kensington. Yeah. Sure. Realize all that he had in common was the shared experience of high school and then stick it out for 50 years. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you make it work. That's what you do. 
I don't you know. Shovel it all uh, down. <laughs> because you know in the end she's going to be there for you. That's why you do it. Uh-huh. It ain't all romance and canoes. I'll tell you fucking kids that something. <laughs> okay. Where's that Hennessy at? <laughs> fucking. Did you two Big get the man. hell out of here. Big man is on one. Go clean oh, your rooms, all right? Only guy I know who drinks eggnog in May. <laughs> um, I uh, I don't know if I ever told you that. My mom, uh, that I, uh, my mom took... Uh, what are like, no, like lady classes, like uh, etiquette. etiquette classes. Mm. They offered them somewhere like at the Y. Yeah, they tried to teach her to stop <laughs> spitting indoors. <laughs> stop doing chew. Kenzo garbage. <laughs> um, stop fighting every guy you see. <laughs> no, she wasn't. There was a there were a couple lady bruisers for sure in the in the fam. Sure. They would, they would tune you up too sweet. I can't imagine. All, every Also, every dude out of there was five brothers. Ooh, man, they were. They would just go. Yeah, they were fighting. They just go. Oh, we're gonna go fight. You know. I feel like those guys. When I've been punched by them in my in my time, and I have, but punched by a you lot get of spackle them. Spackle on your forehead. Their hands are harder. <laughs> yeah. Their hands They're are coming bigger at you and quicker harder. and with more precision. Like when you get hit by like one of these type of guy, like the guy with like the hard hands. They're called goon mitts. Yeah, <laughs> and you deserved it because you were popping off with the mouth. You were grabbing at his lady. <laughs> At the Kenrick uh, Fair, or whatever they were called. <laughs> sure. Bazaars. Uh, you go to bazaars? No. They're like, you know, when the church puts on a bazaar, they have some rides. No. It's a racket. They're doing gambling. Yeah, they're bumping numbers. Yeah. That's what they're, they're doing. They're doing gambling and selling pierogies. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, our church never did that, I don't think. But, oh, um, man. They were the best in the 80s. I'd go with my Aunt Mary Catherine and Uncle Red. I've told you, but. <sighs> you had an Uncle Red? Yeah. Edward Flaherty, shout out to him. Red hair? Red hair. Tall right. red hair. I'll also ran by the name of Edge. Edge. I told you before. Is he a guitarist and you too? <laughs> <laughs> or he's like, okay. They would take me on a Saturday night, just me. So Maybe you're... once in a while my brother, but mm-hmm. I'd go. Man, they had a whole squad. I've told you this before. I don't remember. Oh. I don't really listen when you speak. And they were tight with the priest and, you know, all just, it was nice. The sweet smell of funnel cake in the air. We had, we had a uh, fair at Klinger. Was the Klinger was a local junior high, mm-hmm. and they had a fair. Well, obviously the Pennsylvania State Fair. Klinger, Klinger, Klinger. You go into Kling, Kling. They would do fireworks on like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, somebody had something in the going story. to Klinger by yourself was a that big, was that yeah. was like we're gonna everyone's gonna get you entered that with they dropped the you highest off. hopes. There's gonna be broads. I got twenty bucks mm-hmm. in my pocket. Get some fun, okay? Mm-hmm. Maybe hit the Gravitron. Show my moves off. You were probably scared to death of those rides. No, at that point, I was I, I was a little rambunctious as a kid. It's were not, you? It's not until I got older and I started getting injured that I, that I really toned it down. You're on the Gravitron with your arms crossed so your titties don't bounce. <laughs> <laughs> They're up in my face. There's, my my little prepubescent bo- boobs have slid up into my eyes. A couple of runny eggs over there, eh, boy? <laughs> uh, I was petrified of the salt and pepper. Machine, the thing that that looks like oh, you're in a cage that that spins. Yeah, yeah. That um, I always thought I was. I always had crippling anxiety at those things. I thought I was gonna die. I was gonna be the kid that died at the fair. I, I go through life thinking that I'm gonna be the guy that died doing whatever. That's always. I'm like, that's it. That guy wearing the jean jacket. <laughs> no, he, he had it coming. Um. No, but that was big. I, I was more afraid of because uh, I was at a specific age where the technology and manufacturing had increased, right? So there was rides that were pre, that were like wrought iron type shit. You yeah. know what I mean? Versus chrome or vers- versus yeah. stainless. You know what I mean? Like you'd get on a ride, you're like, oh, th- you could tell the new versus the old. This feels rides. safe. There was a little more hydraulics. Involved. Yes, a little more cables. You not... feel real safe with a little hydraulics. Yes, a little some polished chrome mm-hmm. on the outside, not just like chicken wire and fucking zip ties. Yeah. So See I... a guy wearing an Izod, you're like, okay, polo. So that nice. was a big thing for me. So like some of the tilt the worlds, I was on the fence about, but you know, the craziest ones are the. The swings that go around in a circle. Love those. Did I you know, ever see those? They're so high. Did you ever see them and give it's, out? It's just chain. It, 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 when they give out, it's... Yeah, you go fly. Well, You're that 50. whole hydraulic thing drops. No, no. I'm talking... I'm talking about the swings. I understand, but I'm saying when that goes, like there's videos... Oh, when that comes down? Of that just... Oh, man. Falling and everybody f- turn into fucking... I'd be more scared getting slinged Talking out. to a kippy patty. Because the, the chain is... <laughs> Dude, Medium patty. rare. 
The, the chain is real thin. It's like a dog's chain. E- no, it's a sturdy chain. Yeah, chains. Mm. I think the integrity of chains are is pretty well documented. Is it? Yeah. Inte- yeah. Chains? That's, chains I don't are trust st- chains. Chains are strong. No, nah, I like cable. Good cable. <laughs> Good, nice, solid cable. Yeah, I like cable. Uh-huh. Now well, I get it. Less people bite it yearly at amusement parks and carnivals than you would think. Yeah. Die? Yeah. Oh, let's do an over-under. A year in, is this the United States? I believe so, yes. Ooh, I'm going to say. This is carnivals and amusement parks combined. I'm going to say. Do you have this number already? Yes. Ooh, T-Bone. I'm going to say under 365, under less than one a day die at amusement parks. Or if bears. one person a day <laughs> died, <laughs> that's, that's a lot. Down. So many. That's what I'm saying, so I'm going under. <laughs> that's what I'm, t- <laughs> I'm saying I'm going under that. Dude, the waivers you would have to sign at Six Flags. I sign it under, so my bet's right. Less than 100 people. Yeah, yeah, still very high. Four and a half. People? Four and a half? Yeah. That's nothing. <laughs> I'm saying. What happened to that half a guy? <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the top half's still kicking. <laughs> I'd say the bottom half made it. Yeah, yeah. Yikes. Four and a half people die a year at amusement parks and fairs in America. That's nothing. That's it? Yeah. How many are maimed? Do you have that number? Yeah. What's it the maim say, report? It does, say the, it does say the number of injuries are shockingly high. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The injuries. The injury math ain't great. That's what'll get you. Um, sure. That's true. And and maimings also get put into the injury category. So yes. it's like splinters waiting in line it, and it, legs ripped off. It's like a DA juicing the numbers. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, leg ripped off is an injury. Yeah. No. There should be a separate category, yeah. leg ripped off. Legs and arms ripped off. Uh huh. I remember being on the uh, the sea dra- the dragon. It was like you know, you get on like a ship, mm-hmm. and it swings up and like that. I think it was like the sea dragon or something. Didn't um, lock you in, right? Didn't lock me in. Did I mention that? Yeah. I, it was getting loose. There was wasn't a, it you and Stutsky? I think it was. I think it was me and Pat, or me and my buddy Neil. I uh. believe it was Pat though. Another, you know a guy named Neil? Yeah, he's a good <laughs> shit. I think he <laughs> listens. I, th- I know his brother Scott does. What's up, Neil? Shout out to you, Neil Handweek. <laughs> What's that? Instead of Armstrong? <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. That's a pretty good one. Hand ready. Um, what are you writing over there? Yeah, Jesus God. Christ. Who are you, Carson, all of a sudden? Uh, <laughs> I'm quick every once in a while. Hand week. I said, hand, not Armstrong, hand week. Uh, Lee Iacocca, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> he said he walked on the moon. <laughs> um, I, uh, I think he crawled. He had a couple of drinks in him. <laughs> it's not that. <laughs> Not a <laughs> bit of a drinker, <laughs> <laughs> bit of a lush. Um, I uh, fuck what was I? Do we had another one? The Serpentine, I believe, was on Mariner's Pier in Wildwood, and that one had tech. That issues. place killed people left that, and right that, in the eighties and early nineties. Uh, well, there was somebody w- died every summer at that thing. Not every summer. There were a lot of memeing. Yeah. They really swept shit. It was like it was like Nucky Thompson running that thing. It was. They really swept shit under the rug. Going to that place is it? What, no, Maury's Pier. So Maury. So the the the, the, the three entertainment piers were Maury, all owned by Mister Maury, and Why the Maury. So much shit going on in Wild. It was Maury's Mariners, and then they opened Wild Wheels when I was a kid. Mm. That was the third new pier where they put a big wooden roller coaster on. I believe it was called the Great White. <laughs> Uh, or something like that. The slasher. <laughs> They're not going to make it. Yeah, I was going to say, Maury, you are not going to make it. Um, the Serpentine, I believe, was called. And it, you you got it pulled like you got in the roller coaster and it pulled you up backwards. Ooh, right. Like up jump all up jump up backwards and then let you go and you come down through the like that fucking house again. You go do all the loop, the dupes, the swoop, the swoops, and then you go up. Uh, not like the same ramp, kind of. Like mm-hmm. They're next to it, but the same. And then you do the whole thing in reverse. And that was like when that technology was new. And that reverse thing never fucking worked. People got stuck every single year. Oh. Every year. Stuck upside Freaking down. Out. Stuck backward. Like the mechanism, they didn't have it figured out yet. Yeah. Really jammed. I, I did that two See, or three times. See, they don't account for that. You know, all that blood rush in your head is no good. Somebody has a stroke three days later in the motel. <laughs> At the Seashell Motel. Yeah. Okay, you're on a full roller coaster. It gets stuck fully inverted. Immediately kill myself. How, if you got everyone in unison to like rock back and forth, you yeah. think you could generate enough force to get yeah, that going? Yeah, you're going to be able to coordinate that with people. <laughs> Screaming some, guy's, and some guy's chewing his arm off to get out of his vest. Oh, yeah. everyone's just screaming out their phones falling. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that would suck. Well, there was a famous one in one. That would be uncomfortable. 
There was a famous one in Wildwood. Uh, when I was going there, the, I think I might have said before, the ki- a kid's hat fell off, and he ran to go get it in a place where he shouldn't have, and it was one of those ones. Got his head kicked off. Yeah, your feet dang on it fucking kicked his head clean off. See, I heard that it was this guy's stepdad, and his stepkid lost the hat, and then he ju- the stepdad jumped over. He got his head kicked off. K- Paramount's care was The true story is free fall at Great Adventure. A lady had a ponytail, and her hair, and her hair got ripped off. It scalped her. Now that was true, because I knew that broad. I dated her. Mine for a was couple true of years. though. I'm almost positive mine is true. I swear to God. Because they had a memorial for him, which is the last thing you want to see when you're click click clicking up a hill. You know what I mean? They had a memorial for him yeah, at got, the ride. Poor bastard got his head kicked off at the ride. Yeah, you see, entertainment business. <laughs> as sad hey, as that is, Disney ever never do whatever did that. you want down the street, but hey, we got to move tickets here. We did a safety check. We paid the fine. You got to be kidding me. Yeah, that's the last thing you want to see as you're going down. That oh. noise. They sh- I mean, I get that's part of the experience and it scares you, but at this point. The noise of the head coming off? No, the click, click, oh. click, click, click. Oh, I was going to say. What kind of life do you think I'm living? Um, that the, freaked me out. The click, click. They don't need to do the click, click. Yeah, you do. No. Builds it up. St- yeah, I don't like that. I think that's functional as well. I'm sure they I'm sure they have technology cables. That's so you don't go flying backwards. A click, click, click. I'd rather go back. Probably go locks home, you in. Go back down, get a soft pretzel, call it a day. Man, going over one of those is really what gets you. Let me tell you about Aura Frames. Shout out to Aura Frames. Yeah, you got Mother's Day coming up. What are you going to get her? Do yourself a favor. Get her the gift that keeps on giving, baby. Mm-hmm. They're Wi-Fi connected digital picture frames that let you share and display unlimited photos. Oh, yeah. Share your vacation pics, family photos, and your silly childhood memories. <laughs> like that time Kevin burned down the garage. What? <laughs> I told you that in private. Allegedly. Uh, you can even pers- you can even personalize the frame with preloaded photos so it's ready to go out of the box. You open it up and they got pictures right there. Boom. I got one. I got two or three for my mom. She gets them for her birthdays, Mother's Day. Sure. I guess she's got one at the house. She's got one at the shore house. She's got one in her car. I got my wife one strictly for naughty pics. I was going to say, give your grandma a little jolt with that dick pic. <laughs> Jesus on Christ. Mother's Day. The entire family can download the Aura app and share their images to the frame. Uh, you, your brother, your sister, you can all send pictures of the kids to Nana. She gets them updated. It's great. Oh, yeah, yeah, Whether you're showing off old pics of your lo- your little one's dance recital or sending your oldest kid off to prom, it's sure. It's uh, mom. It's like mom was right there with you. Aww. Right now, Aura has a great deal for Mother's Day. Listeners can save on the perfect gift by visiting AuraFrames.com slash garbage. Use the code garbage to get 30 bucks off plus free shipping on their best selling frame. That's Aura, A U R A, frames.com slash garbage. Use the code garbage to check out the save. Do it. This episode is brought to you by BetterHelp. Yes. If you're pouring everything you've got into your work and there's nothing left over for you, it's time to make a change. Yes. BetterHelp's online therapy is incredible. Get matched with one of their licensed therapists and learn what, you're, what you like to do what you want to do, and who you want to be. Mm-hmm. Big man going off the cuff. Everything's <laughs> done online. No driving to the office or sitting on someone's cold gray couch. You can do therapy from the privacy of your own home, which is important. Opening up is tough to do. Mm-hmm. And if you're in some guy's weird office and the waiting rooms are, and people can hear, you can hear the, the doctor next door. That shit's for the birds. This is easy to get into if you're self-conscious about doing it. It's a fantastic way to just get in the pool and figure it out once you get in there. Getting started is simple. Just take a short quiz and BetterHelp will connect you with one of their licensed therapists. You can switch therapists at any time at no additional charge. That's the best part. You get in, you get assigned to somebody and just figure out if you if you have resistance to doing it. You can talk to someone and you can always switch to make it a better experience. Learn to make time for what makes you happy with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash garbage today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash garbage. Done. Yep. Uh, I had something that I wanted to talk about. It's, I'm not really sure. What can we do for you? Uh, I'm not really sure. I, I saw a, a saying that someone, um, it's, I've, it was one of the first time I've seen it written out, and I think I've been saying it wrong my whole time. Mm-hmm. Is it foolproof or fool's proof? The same, like as we have a blank proof plan. It's fool, no s proof. Yeah, foolproof. Foolproof. Fool, fool like proof. a fool. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. even a fool. It's could not. Do it. It's not fool's proof. 
or F U L L. Like I it's thought full it, proof. I <laughs> thought it was like you were wrong twice. <laughs> yeah, full proof is what you drink out of your. Hooch. <laughs> I thought I thought it was like, hey, we fully proven this, no. so the proof is full. It's full proof. Even a fool could do it. Yeah, that makes so much sense now. Yeah, I've never seen it written out though, and it did not feel right. It's a foolproof. I've plan. never said that. Foolproof plan. Full How come proof. no one's ever stopped me? What do you? They don't know what you're saying. Full it was proof because you were presenting a very good plan. Wait, it's, you were saying it is foolproof. You were saying fool's proof. No, full. Like full. Like, like I have a full cup of water. Oh, well, that's what. All right, can't really tell. It's foolproof. Now, full and full is the same enunciation. Full, fool. No, it's same fool. Thing. Whatever. Same thing. <laughs> You're all right. He doesn't, he doesn't have his upper teeth. Let yeah, him slide. Yeah, you don't worry about it. You, you're a good kid. All right. Yeah. That was the first time one of those. I've realized I've been on. I've made fun of a lot of people for that. those things. Play it by year, et cetera, et cetera. But that was the first time I ever Play had it by it. year. My sister thought it was play it by year. That's like, a lot of people do. Which, what is play it by ear? Play oh, it by like like well, ear. Yeah. Yeah. Like, instead of reading the music, you play it by ear. No, that's not what that term means, though. I think that's where it comes from. We'll just play it by ear. We'll just do it as it goes. That, that makes would be sense. A, that would, but that would be a reference to. Let's see it. Give it a goog. What? What do you have? Play, play it by, by ear. Play, play it by, by ear. Oh, it means to not read music, just to hear the song and play along. But how does that have to do with the, actually when you use it in term in now? The, in the saying, yeah, I know the that. The saying is, doesn't have anything to do with being able to play it by ear is. I think that's what it's in reference to. I would, to that act makes spontaneously sense. and according to the situation. Yeah, yeah play but it how, by what, ear. Because that's what you do when you play it by ear when, in music. Oh, I guess I thought you were trying to mimic something. Like, I've listened to this song, and I can play it by ear. That wouldn't be spont- spontaneity. No. So jazz would be more play it by We're playing it by ear. Yes. As it comes up. You're an uptight guy, huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> we're going to play it by ear. All right, we'll have a very, we'll have a very strict plan. <laughs> we're going to write it down first, though, right? <laughs> Relax, head kicker. <laughs> Wait, What? I don't know what just happened here. Genuinely lost in my own program. You got T-boned and foley. Man, talk about fool's proof. <laughs> uh, but we got a gosh darn family episode, gang. Yes, we do. Uh, as you know, when you sign up for the Patreon, we will answer your garbage question on the air. It's the best way to do it, baby. We get a lot of submissions, but Patreon gets the first crack at it. Um, This one's uh, this is from Joey Fatballs. Shout out to you. Is it garbage if your mom and her boyfriend burn down their house and try to collect the insurance money? P.S. They never got it. Jesus. That's rough, dude. Imagine that. Yeah. Going through all that and swinging a miss. I told you not to use those monogram rags. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. That's fucking arson. And yeah. Talk about an ultimate turn of fucking fate. You think you're going to be laughing all the way to the bank in Tahiti. Next thing you know, you're in the clink. Who gets away? Nobody gets away with that. I've watched so many forensic files, man. They can. Re- it's crazy the science behind fire. Like they how they can really trace yeah. it back. To like you lit a sock on fire and threw it on the couch. You're like, damn, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> they can really trace that shit back. It's crazy. It was a green sock. Yeah, fuck. Yeah, they can tell how it spreads. The how burn it patterns. What, ex- like, what the second they start throwing around accelerant, you're screwed. Yeah, <laughs> you there is an accelerant. Yeah, if you're gonna do that, you got to do something with one of the appliances. Yeah, the electrical fire. Yeah. They're always like, it's it started at the electrical box, but that was covered in gasoline. So yeah, you know what they sense. can't prove, and I don't know if you claim if you can claim uh your policy on this. If you leave just I left the pilot on by accident. I must have left the pilot on by accident. And the joint blows up. Yeah, but no, it would be the pilot light blows out, continues to fill with gas. The pilot light on is fine. I think, right? No, no, mine's snappy snappy. It goes tick, 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 and then catches. Like it, that's the way it lights. Uh, I don't do that. Uh, you're saying leave a burner on. A not, burner not, on. The pilot light is the the For flame the, that, that's always on. Yeah. Yeah. Leave the leave the thing running with no flame. Yeah. Yeah. Dude. Well, I, that's what I'm saying. I think like the idea with hot. I think I don't know if new hot electric hot water heaters. I don't think do it, but like gas hot water heaters. I'm talking about the stove. I know, but I think the pilot light going like the dangerous of the pilot light. Yeah. Is what I'm explaining. I believe in my understanding was the pilot light is always lit on a hot water heater. That goes out. You don't know it goes out. And the place fills with gas. And the place gas. fills with gas. That's, when, that's the pilot. I didn't know there was a pilot light down there. Yeah, it's, like, it's a little blowtorch. It's constantly lit. It's the same thing on your stove. Yeah. Yeah, but your stove's not. 
It's it, yeah. It, there's a, there's one constantly lit in your stoves too. There's two of them. Yeah. One on each side. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Nuh-uh. Yeah. <laughs> New fear unlocked. Ah. Oh. Dude, I leave the house. Wait. I leave the house and I'll get halfway down the hall and I'll walk back just to, to, just to make sure that they're all. Oh, off. I've I've well, it's well documented that I take pictures of my my range before I leave. Because I got the kitty cat in there. Yeah, I got Hansi Ponzi Shamalama yeah, Donzi. I can't be gassing him up. No, it's it's not on the range. It's in the the actual oven. That's why when you turn the oven on, you don't hear a click 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 click, and you just hear the woof. I thought we mm-hmm. had technology past that. Wow. Nope. Still living in the Stone Age, baby. Whew. So if you're gonna blow your house up. I would say you got to do something like you can't just dump gas. They'll find the gas. Hey, what? 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 what, 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 what? There's a question. <laughs> fucking Foley the Bull over here. Relax, will you? Turn into fucking mob talk real quick. <laughs> hey, you want to whack a guy? You throw him in the mosh. If you killed anybody, also throw him in there. You could say that's you, and then you take the money and live. You just got to be sure to rip the teeth out first. <laughs> um, <laughs> of course. <laughs> Duh. We're not amateurs. <laughs> I assume if you're listening to this program, you're of a certain ilk. And before you blow up the house, make sure you burn your fingerprints off. I always thought that as a kid, if I was ever going to commit a crime, I'd burn my fingerprints off. They ever Then really... they grow back, and I'd be like, ha ha, good try. I just saw Men in Black. They have a really good system for doing that. It's that little ball that he does. It only takes a couple of seconds. just goes, Tss, Yeah. Because it's so It's got to hurt. Oh, yeah, for a minute. Oh, yeah, for a minute. You get over it. But you get those cool shades in the suits. Man, that, that was the epitome of cool when that dropped for me. I was about the original 10, or, men in black? 10 or 11 years, 10 years old, something yeah, like that. Right. Fucking that Will Smith was all right. Home run. Um, all right, let's see here. This is a pretty good one. This is from uh, Bo Bandy. Uh, Bo Bandy. Bob Andy. Bo Bandy. Bo Bandy. It's B-O-B Andy. I wonder if that's a deep cut for um, There Will Be Blood. The Bandy track. The Bandy track. I don't think so. Because Bo was his son. Bo was the old man's This grandson. is one word. Oh. So it's t- it's B. Yeah. I don't, okay. Yeah, I'm not sure. Or it could be Randy, Randy, Fofandy, Banana, Fanda, Bo Bandy. Very true. Possibly. It could be a guy named Bob and Andy and they're sharing an account. I don't know. Mm. This goes like, deeper than we think. I like he- Bob and Andy. <laughs> Bob and Andy's ice cream. Um, I'd buy it. This is more of a debate, which I'm... What's trashier, a zoo or an aquarium? Ooh, interesting. Interesting. I have been to very bad versions of both. Really? Very, very bad versions of both. What bad aquariums have you been to? Uh, Clearwater, Florida, or Tampa. Did you... Hold on. Pay to get in. Yes. Here's the thing. You start getting down to Florida... (laughs) Them rule, them laws are weird down there. You just started talking like fucking, them laws ain't what they used to be. We could do a zoo or an aquarium down there, right? That's why there's all those gator things and all that stuff. No, that's different. This was an aquarium. This was the one, remember there was a... No, what I'm saying is most states have one incredible aquarium, the Baltimore Aquarium. The Camden Aquarium. Yes, and the state, they're funded by the state. I think you can privatize in Florida, if I'm not mistaken. That's where you get the, what, it was like a couple of goldfish and a squirrel? No, they had that dolphin that had the. Uh, we got two rats that fight all the time. They had a dolphin? Oh, it was but the it was the saddest lo- thing, oh, dude. It was in a hot tub? We, we couldn't. <laughs> we, we wouldn't let my nephew look at it. We were like, no, 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 no. You don't need to see that. He was the one. There was a famous Disney movie where he had his tail cut off. What, in the movie? Yeah, and they they gave him like a see if it's called like it's probably like dolphin tails or something. Dolphin with the animatronic I like flip the pun. or whatever. Did it have it in the thing? And this it was based on this guy. I'm almost positive. Did he have the robot? <sighs> it was what that look like? Like an old fucking tilt the world. It wasn't there was no hydraulic on it. And what was he swimming in? Up an above ground pool. Ugh. Small? Not big. Oh, uh, well, he ain't hurt no more, boys. <laughs> He's up to the big above ground pool in the sky. <laughs> yeah, he had to die. I mean, this was well, fucking we, 15 years ago. Well, I don't know if dolphins count in the fatalities, but we found the four. We found the <laughs> point five. The point five. Because he only yeah. was half a dolphin. He didn't make it. When what, they get what, what aquarium was 2021. he at? 2021. 2021. COVID, I heard. <laughs> Jesus. COVID got him. Clearwater Marine Aquarium. In Clearwater, there we go. Florida. See if you can pull up some pics of that. Ay, I got yeah. him. It's weird. It's not great. 
It was sad. I uh, thought he was breathing on the glass and writing help with his nose. <laughs> <laughs> I don't speak dolphin. Kill he's me. Tra- <laughs> he's trying to signal me. You sons of bitches should have finished me off when you had the chance. That's a lot of writing. He did bum a cig off me. Uh, <laughs> hey, fat ass. You hey, got a light? Hey, buddy. I picture him sitting on the, like sitting with his like his back up on the on the pool like that. Yeah. Um, I've also been to a very bad zoo. Zoos are no. You can find notorious bad zoos all over the country, but I think more than often than not. The aquarium is going to be nicer across the board. They're usually pretty classy. I agree down. because there aren't many free aquariums, and there are a bunch of free. Lincoln Park Zoo in Chicago is sad. Is bro. it Cape May County Zoo outside of Wildwood? Rough. Oh, is that where we were? Where we we went for a walk when we were in Chicago? Yeah, there was just like emus hanging around. Yeah, and the, it was in like a regular park. The saddest lions you've ever seen in your mm. life. They have lions in Chicago. Yeah, they sell loose cigarettes. What do they do in the winter? <laughs> <laughs> so crack. <laughs> How's you gonna Move say, weight, bitch. How are you going to say they turn into stick-up kids? A uh, couple yeah. of Kia boys. Uh-huh. Yeah. There's we, one in at Cape May Zoo. There's one. Lion Pete on my whole family. Really? Yeah, it was pretty. We woke him up. He didn't like that. We were screaming. We have a, What's we have Lion a, Pete smell like? It's be I, musky. I didn't really get hit. I hid behind my mom, but we have a picture of it. Do you um, stand up and go like that, or do you throw it at you? <laughs> you like what you see? <laughs> <laughs> fucking wailing on himself. <laughs> you used Denise as a as a human shield against lion piss. I was young. I was like eighteen. No, uh, I was I was five or six. Uh-huh. I was scared of him. He was sleeping, and it's dude. It's me, my brother, my cousin Liam, Sean, Danny, Catherine, Sarah. I, there's fucking eleven of us. They took us on. I think it was like too hot for the beach or whatever, you know, and they were like, oh, one day we'll just go. We'll, you know, go inland. It's a little cooler or whatever. And, man, we went to the Cape May County Zoo, and then we were screaming to wake this lion up. He came out. He took like three paces and then peed all like fucking Mountain Dew stream. Yeah, well, all was, over everybody. I was throwing rocks at him, but I didn't even hit him or nothing. Pussy. <laughs> we had a- My brother, we have a picture of it. My brother is dressed like Joe Dirt. And dude, he's got the high baggy socks on, the little like short shorts, and a rat tail. It's a killer pick. We had a monkey shit on us one time. Uh, we were down in like the. How I th- much you pay for that? I can't remember if we were in D.C. or if we were in Dallas, mm-hmm. but we were with that section of my family. Um, and we walked through the monkey things, and it was all glass. It smelled like shit in there. And this one monkey was on a rope, and we were all standing there looking at him, and he just swang and just took a dump right on the glass. Oh, dude. Murdered. The whole family. Die. Ah! It was worth the price of the admission alone. Talked about that for years. <laughs> Real classy operation. Uh huh. That's big news. Um, so I th- like an aquarium, though. I'm sorry to cut you yeah, off. Yeah, no, of course. Ideally, when it's done right, they're very soothing. Especially if they got sure. otters. Wow. I love otters. I like an dude. indoor one where. You can go under. Where the animals have enough space. I know they're not having as much space as they did. First of all, they're all wrong. Right? Research purposes, maybe. But I know they should be out in the wild. But it's raining. But what is the... what? got to have something to do. (laughs) Come on. What are you jammed up? Got an off day. What's... But what is the... I guess the moral... And this is, again, I'm an idiot. But, like, what's the moral compass of, like... If it's born in captivity, could that then last outside? No. Right? No. So it's like, then they're relatively self-sustaining then, no? And But also the argument is then you're removing them from the food. It's like most of those fish are just snacks for bigger fish. Sure. In the wild. I just want them to have enough room. Like a huge, when you go to like, like the Baltimore Aquarium was pretty sick from what I remember. And if they had like a huge pool. Yeah, I just where yeah. they were like all it was like the ocean. They were all mixed in there. Did we go there together? No. no. What? No. When did we go to an aquarium together? Yeah, that's a that's a crazy question. No, it's not. We've done a bunch of stuff. Were we on the moon together? Or did I no, do that with no, my family? No, aquarium is not the moon. <laughs> um, I uh, I see. Where you, yeah, I guess I don't know, but a bad aquarium's bad. Smell. I've that's never been problem. to a There's, bad aquarium. That's what I'm, I'm tell- saying. That's what I'm saying. So I think I'm gauging on the trashier version of them. And a bad aquarium is like 
There, the, well, there's water, mold, smell. It's it's rough. They had mackerel floating around. Bad zoos look bad sad. Bad buckets of, you know, cod or whatever. Bad zoos also have bad smells. True. Mm -hmm. There's a good small zoo near uh, where Patty lives. The Elmwood Zoo. It's really nice. They do a lot of classes and stuff like that. I'll give you that. They take really good care of the animals. Really good care of the animals. I think one of them got out, though. Um, Years ago, something got away. I wouldn't blame it. I think a mountain lion or something like that. I can't remember. I think they caught it. Elmwood Zoo animal escapes. See if anything comes up. Probably Patty setting the monkeys free. <laughs> Do the poop thing again. <laughs> no, uh, this is the first thing that comes up. No, a jaguar did not escape from the Elmwood Park Zoo. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. Man. <laughs> that was big news. <laughs> Talk about a side. What what dude. what uh <laughs> what establishment or rep what what who put that what website is that? Patch.com. Oh, they're pretty legit. They're pretty good, I think, yeah. right? That's like self sourced or whatever. And, and also the Elmwood Park Zoo Facebook page. We've received a number of rumors rumor circulating. Can someone tell Foley and Patty to stop spreading these lies? A jaguar running around Norristown? Yikes. <laughs> I don't know, man. This screams cover up to me. I think this is bigger than we think, That's man. That's what they want you to think, dude. He's out there, dude. He's out He's there, out dude. There. Jaguars are scary. Jaguar. These things would rip your throat out. Um, I got another one. It's kind of in the same tip. Uh, this is from Patty. Uh, DB Cougar. D Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, this is from Patty. Uh, can you say you're going on vacation if you are driving to the destination? Yeah. That's vacation. Or is that going on a trip? No, it's, no, it's a vacation. vacation. Yeah, that's okay. Most, I mean, the, the great American vacation is done We're on the taking road. a trip. We're going that's on vacation. That's back in the day. That's not. That's now no longer, I feel. What? No one's doing car trips like they used to do car trips. I think you're dead wrong. I, I think the cars are better. I think families like that stuff. They pack it up. There's never been more passenger commercial flights in the history of time than today. So that's clearly wrong. I think Not as many families people. still. Take we've driven to a fraction of the road of the tour dates we've done. Okay. If We're that was the family. case, we'd be driving more. I think someone's listening to this right now in a station wagon. I'm not saying it's not happening. Finally getting a moment of peace from these damn kids. I'm not saying it's not happening. Why? Because they're sleeping? Yeah. Sure. I think families still do that a lot. Or they got the iPad going. I th it's it's got to yeah. be down from the 80s. Sure. I'll give you that. That's all I'm saying. But so I'm saying I think the vacation has cars the, are the better the idea of a vacation has changed for a lot of people it's no longer where you can drive to in three hours do you do you think that people a lot do more it? people are flying destinations but what if you drive there and you stay and you you are going on a vacation you taking a trip taking a trip all i'm you saying can fly yes i'm i'm just trying to understand the the, the the person who asked the question, I, I I understand your sentiments of if you drive somewhere for three hours and you spend a week there, it's a vacation. Mm -hmm. I'm saying I think the idea of vacations is now more of there's more people going to Mexico. There's more people going to Miami. There's more people going to Puerto Rico for the weekend. All of the, the people didn't used to do. So that is now the idea of a vacation, I think, is what they're saying. Sure. And I think that they're saying the idea of driving cheapens it a bit. Does that make sense? Okay. Unless you're doing it as like a throwback retro y kind of feel. What's in what sense? Of driving? Yeah. Well, like that's why like if the road trip is part of it. I think a lot of times when people were driving places it was a monetary thing, not like it's this cheaper. Was, yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. And funner. I remember ah, we, I don't we think loaded that. up we loaded up the Datsun to go down to Texas. Great. That's what I'm saying. I think that trip now would be flown. That same exact trip would be flown. No one's driving Blue Belt of Texas anymore, unless you need your car down there. It was mountaintop to Texas. It was upstate Pennsylvania. That's what I'm saying. The, that's a, that is now a flight. Broke down several times. <laughs> Before we got out of mountaintop. <laughs> <laughs> that was an unreliable car. <clears throat> you know, it's funny. I remember driving there. I don't remember driving back. I assume we did. Man, that drive back. Yeah, hey, your family probably suck. chloroformed your fat ass. Maybe. <laughs> After I week. caused a lot of trouble on the way down there. After a week. Yeah, you, don't, you don't say. Yeah, I caused a lot of trouble. Drove my poor mother crazy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't think anybody's. I'm putting your hands over your dad's eyes while he's driving and shit. <laughs> <laughs> You're like fucking, what's his name in the field of, or uh, League of Their Own? Nelson or something? Still well, baby. Still well, baby. Yeah. 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 Just yeah. watch that. I got smacked around a lot on that trip. Had it come in, just causing 
trouble. Kip, let's talk about Liquid IV. Shout out to Liquid IV. Are you barely touching a liquid that isn't coffee during the day, or do you carry a water jug around with you all day? Like a Dorcas Malorcas. Sure. However, the way you hydrate, shaking things up with Liquid IV with three times the electrolytes of the leading sports drinks. Mm -hmm. Not to name names. Not to mention you got some vitamins in there. They do sugar-free options. It's absolutely fantastic. You got white peach. You got grape. Unbelievable. Uh, yeah, just mix one stick uh, of the pouch with uh, 16 ounces of water, and you're all set. Uh, as you know, I've been using it. I think it's a fantastic hydrator. It makes you just feel, it just makes you feel better. Well, hungover or not, I use it hungover a lot. My trick is I do it when I get home from the bar, pop one of them, chug it up, let the let the nutrients and the vitamins work overnight. You mm-hmm. wake up feeling refreshed like a million bucks. Sure you like do. you don't have a drinking problem. However you hydrate, grab your liquid IV hydration multiplier, sugar-free in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can get 20% off your first order when you go to liquidiv.com and use the code GARBAGE at checkout. That's 20% off your first order when you shop better hydration today using our promo code GARBAGE at liquidiv.com. Go it. I just watched that. that Gina Davis is a tall drink of water. Love her. Hi, caramba. Mm-hmm. Was that a big one for you growing up? Field what? Dr- or, uh, no, I keep calling it Field of Dreams. A League of Their Owns? Yeah. God League damn. of Their Owns. You do that tragedy thing. A League of Their Own. Yeah. what I said? A League of Their Owns. <laughs> uh, huge hit in my household. Yeah. Huge. I was one the whole family. It was a sports movie my mom could watch. Mm-hmm. That yeah. was real big. I lived for the beginning with Lovitz. Love it was man. Great. I didn't. I never recognized it. I hadn't watched it in 15, 20 Get years. Get these wild animals away from me. He was great. Oh, he was man. amazing. But I'll he, take her. I want you. When he's talking to the the girl that's not that pretty. Oh man, uh, Matilda or whatever her name was. Yeah, something. <laughs> we'll let you know. Yeah, he was awesome. That was great. Hell of a movie. A hell of a. I don't like the beginning and the end though. I fast forward that. I don't like it's a little sad, like the, when they're older. Oh, yeah. brutal. Give me Madonna with the canes. Madonna was great. You forget yeah. how great. Rosie O'Donnell was great in it. Home run. Yeah, home run. No pun intended. No pun ah, intended. no pun intended. The Grand Slam. They were, they Tom were pal- Hanks was great. Oh, forget about it. Tom Hanks was. Jimmy. Yeah. So was Gary Marshall as the guy who owns. Gary uh, Marshall owns the league or whatever, yeah. the team. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was all right. Man, Gary Marshall has been that age, I feel, for 50 years. Yeah. He's been that guy. I don't know him anything He's younger than that. Uh, he died like last year. No shit. Yeah. Uh, one of my faves. Happy days. Mork and Mindy. Uh-huh. Something else. <laughs> love Gary Marshall. I'd commercial. Man. I loved him in Louie. The best. Yeah, it was great. Um, all right, this one's from Smashing Blumpkins. Every, this is just a oh, sentence. That is that's a fun. great that's name. Pretty, yeah. Uh, this is just a sentence. Every folding closet door in my parents' house is off track or broken and has been that way for at least 15 years. Hell yeah. You got to put so your finger true. up there to pop it back into the track. The, the ones that bend out. Yeah, we didn't have any bends. We had sliders. Woo. Um, and man. I put my head through one. Danny threw me through another one. We, every one was fucking broken. Did you guys ever upgrade them in the mirrors? That was a my big sis- day in our house. Listen, my sister did. I remember the day it happened. My dad put them in. My, they were always fucked my up. My stepdad put them in. I remember when And he, I remember him cursing in the bedroom. Yeah, I remember him. Because it's not that it's that hard, but there's so much precision involved to mm-hmm. get that right. And so many moving parts in there. Springs and things like Clickets that. Clickets and fish. And, and dude, what are you doing, man? You just worked fucking a 10-hour shift. Then you're going to come home, mm-hmm. have some spaghetti, a couple of Coors Lights, and you're going to try to do this? I got to get to sleep. I got school in the morning. You sure. Dude, you're no. just... Get somebody. Yeah. What I are don't... you saving? 50 bucks? I'll skip breakfast. Yeah, but I think it's one of those things now where it's like you can find those guys. You can just go like, I need a guy to come do that. Back in the day, what are you going to get at the yellow... Bu- Yellow pages, call a guy, leave a message. He calls you back, comes he's out. He's drunk. Gives you an estimate. He's on the hooch. Like, you know, that kind of shit. Man. Um, Yeah, my sister got the, when she became like a teenager and like really started caring about how she looked. Because mm-hmm. my mom's room had them. I think that came with the of house. Of course. They had them. I have to, mine and Danny's were broken to the point where you could pull it. You could pull the, the top would stay attached. And you can pull, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. pull the bottom all the way out. Sure. <laughs> make, yeah. make a beer pong table oh, real quick. Oh, man. It 100%. was fucking. My mom was like, these, every time she would come in, these freaking doors, you break up fit, dude. I mean, we'd be wrestled. We shared a room. 
So we'd be fighting. They were loose when you would pull them back uh, in that bottom. They, was they probably still are at this point. <laughs> I mean, I haven't been in a minute, it's like but a good time. The, or like they're off the tr- every yeah. I, I, you have to be a certain level of wealth, education, and class if all of your closet doors are currently working in your apartment, I would never say, or your house, never. They ha- you. I've never met anybody who's just on who's just perfect. Mm-mm. You ever have one, the one of the one of the ones that fold? So it pulls back and it's not on the thing, but like when it's closed, it's in the track. But when you open it, it's for some reason it's too low and you'd be sitting there watching TV. Catches a wandering eye. All of a sudden it would just swing open, dude. Get out. I watched my stepdad with about a handful of drinks in him down down the shore. The one in the kitchen uh, doesn't. You know how like the pre- there's again there's like I hydro- it's not hydraulics but there's a lot of moving parts in the sense of like when it's pushed closed there's an amount of pressure that's pushing to hold it together yeah. and this there just wasn't enough pressure and he I remember dude him fucking losing it because like you would close it it would hold close and you let go and you go all right and then we just go boop and pop open dude he was he was had it had it probably half a sixer in him. Started scr- he's fucking doors. I was like, I'll be outside if you need me. <laughs> fucking losing your shit over a closet door, dude. It's too funny. Talk about being on edge. Uh, all right, let's see. This one's from Guillermo. Ten dollar homie never had one red. Is it garbage you use Groupon on the reg? Dot dot dot. Where business businesses go to die. Yeah, people that usually use Groupon are usually pretty tight with the funds, especially with the tips. A group have a Groupon of like uh, restaurants. For do sure. restaurants do it? They used to, and you get. Would it be like ten percent off? It is that what's is that what it is, or like a free dit or a free appetizer? Yeah, or it something? was something like that, or or like or like a buy one get one entrees, but you always got skewed. Oh, you always got iced on the tip in a, the worst way ever. I remember they were fun. When I think they that, first started. I think they like, were. It was more. I think what I remember was more of like experience activity. Based. Yeah, it was like. Hey, you can go. I mean, I remember my wife used it for kayaking on the Hudson. I used it for skydiving, and it was the dopest group yeah, out of all time. That makes sense. Uh, you used that recently. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. That makes sense to me. Would like, you hey, go to Groupon? No. Targeted ad. They got me. Hmm. Man. AI knows Toby. Yikes. Hey, you Hey, you want to risk your life at a discount? <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> you ready to risk it all at 50% off? Mm-hmm. So what's the question? Is if you use Groupon on the reg? Yeah, do you use Groupon on the reg? I mean, I understand it. You know, probably got a family. For sure. Doing his thing. But I do, th- I do think for business, it's... It is not the, not a good not, the, not the highest. Uh, no, you're on your way. Performing out. business, you're trying to build the bridge as you're crossing it. Yeah, and you're, you're yeah, you're on your last legs, mm-hmm. getting into a Groupon. But I think for activities, it's good. And I think it's, I also know, like, I mean, we used to do like when we used to have to produce, you know, you know, shitty comedy shows in New York. People, you a lot of comedy shows use Groupon of like, hey, it's a uh, yeah, we would beg, borrow, and steal on. <laughs> You just told you just told somebody there night about what, your Eventbrite scam. Yeah, back in the day, um, not scam. I wouldn't say scam. Hustle, hustle, hack. strategy, hack, hack. I am a hack. It was fool's proof. Um, so when you were running a free comedy show in New York, like one does, about there there would be about a hundred of those a day, and everybody would be using uh the same sources. And somebody told me this. I didn't figure this out on my own, but. You would put, um, you would put, say there was, the room ha- held 50 people. You would put 50 free tickets listed on Groupon or whatever, eh, or Eventbrite. If you were a straight shooter. If you were a straight shooter. But if you wanted to make yourself a little bit in it. You, b- because what happens is people sign up for the tickets and then like 10% show up, if that. Correct. So if you do 50 tickets, five people might show up. And then you go, well, fuck. So what you do is you make it out of like 500 tickets. <laughs> And they also pr- they promote that more. You know what I mean? Because they're like, oh, this is a big event, so it shows up more. And then 500 people say they're going to come, and then 40 end up coming. Still bomb anyway. <laughs> yeah, man. We, we still stunk. Yeah. yeah. And that's a little hustle. We, you had to fit. Dude, those days were 
There was something. They borrow and steal to there, get five people in the room. There was something else waiting tables that was all, restaurant week. Did you have restaurant week in Chicago when you were waiting tables? No, it never affected us. Oh, we had it in Philly and New York. The cheapest fucks in the world. It'd be like a prefix menu. Some prefix guy, menu, it's like $40 or something. Yeah. Yeah. I always ended up with a lava cake at the end of it. Um, I mean, some, some dickhead and his fucking skank hooker wife. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Coming in, busting my balls, and then leaving like a 10% tip. That's just, Yeah, that sucks. That's Horatio Sands, by the way. Yes. Uh, uh, <laughs> You're scared uh, cooker. Uh, what's he what is he home play? What's he home play? Piano man or something? <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> they also did that in Philly, to, and it ended poorly, to promote. So Wednesday nights in Philly are typically dead, right? Monday, Tuesday, Monday night football, or just like whatever games and shit. Wednesday is typically dead, in Philly specifically. So And during the summer, everybody goes down the shore on the weekends. Like It's like a mass exodus out of Philly. So there's so to promote the nightlife, they did Center City Sips. Do you mm-hmm. remember that? Yeah. So it was a bunch of bars would do happy hour. From four to six, five to seven, every Wednesday as part of Center City Sips. Like each, maybe each one's profiled different a week or whatever. The place is wall to wall with Center City Six. Oh, man. Specialty <laughs> cocktails. I don't know if they, they had to stop it because about whatever, maybe five years ago, it just a uh, huge melee happened on like JFK Boulevard or whatever. It was like a 50 on 50 fist fight of like a bunch of finance bros just all slugging it out. And it was like so many people, it, came- it became such a thing of like, we're going and getting blacked out on Wednesday night. You know what I mean? It was like, call out of work Thursday because Center City Sib starts. And they had to drinks stop were it. Cheap. Drinks were cheap. You're going down to shore Friday anyway. <laughs> the fuck? Take off work Friday early. <laughs> yeah. Get out of there, baby. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's see here. Uh, this one's from Not Fully Convinced. I guess Not Fully Convinced. Oh, that's pretty good. Not Fully Convinced. I like that. Uh, is it garbage to have a dent in your garage door? We, oh, yeah. yeah. More like standard operating procedure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah of course. That goes back to closet doors. We had, oh, man. I remember, Somebody run into it. Ours, I think, I think, I think we did it with a, a basketball. We did it with something. We hit it with something, and my mom... Immediately got pissed, and it was. Br- I think they replaced it maybe like two years ago. Yeah, because he's been in that house for like twenty something years. So they, they, I guess they replaced it, and it, it was dented all of the nineties, all of the two thousands, two thousand tens, and two thousand twenty. Nice diagonal line, I'm sure. Sure. Yeah, that yeah. was uh, that was always one of my mom or dad's faults. Usually my mom in a car or so. Yeah, yeah, it was usually that. No, that was ours. Was us? Ours was busted off the track for a long time because we have an automatic. We have an automatic garage door, but it's a, um, what's it called? Doorbell thing. One of those things. Those are trashy. My, my dad's house had that. And it's real tricky. You got to hit it in the right spot. But it's been like that since we lived there in, in 1987. It's worked. But for a long time, it was off the, it, the, the motor didn't work and my dad wouldn't get it. So he would just pull it. You know, you can pull it and you can. Do it by your hand? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It sounds like the whole garage is coming down when you do that. Though. Sure. It's yeah. a lot of gears moving quick. A lot. Um, we had, a, it goes back to like as my, my dad and stepdad were both in construction, so like things would get fixed, but anything that involved technology, just like we bought it, and if it broke, it just existed broken in the hat. Sure. Like they weren't technology people. And I'm talking for a good... 12 years you could only close our garage door from the keypad you couldn't open it from the keypad you know how like we have like the keypad on the outside Uh, that flips up and you go blah blah blah, one two three four never had that you gotta gotta hit it from the inside and jump the laser no you could close it you could you could hit enter and enter would close it like if you i think it was like if you hit enter twice you could close it but the numbers didn't work so you couldn't open it how would you open it well you had you you could open. You had to open it from the inside. Oh, you see what I'm saying? Did you have a thing in the car? I think the car thing worked. It was just the keypad. The numbers were broken, mm. and we just existed that way. We all had to get keys from now like, on. We went from like being having the technology to enter the house. 
And then they were like, okay, we can't get in the house. We had to go get keys cut. From now on. From now on, everybody goes in the back door. This is what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Just never got a fix. 100%. I don't even know if it's fixed right now, if I'm being honest with you. Fuck, it's just anything with the technology they thought was a billion dollars. And we're like, what? You don't have what the lasers is. to fix that. Yeah, we're leaving that. Yeah, that's just a... exiting a garage by hopping the laser made you feel like Indiana Jones. That that was a game. If my mom was at work and it was like me and my buddy or me and my neighbor, we would just fucking see how long you could go. And then you would, as you got taller, you had to like jump and like backwards <laughs> and like launch. yeah, and like flatten out a bit. Yeah, we didn't have that in our garage. That thing hit you. Yeah. It's, you're getting squashed. There ain't no laser in there, and that thing's heavy. Mm-hmm. That's how they dented it up. <laughs> that's two tons of Detroit steel. <laughs> yeah, that's how they dented it up. My mom driving the car through there, and it hit in the car. So there was like a dent going up. So there was, they were getting water in the garage, so we took pool noodles and cut them, like opened them up and put them on the bottom like little bumpers. Sure. That didn't work. But if it's squashed, wait, was that you, supposed to stop the water from going in? <laughs> That's not gonna work. I'm aware of that. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Trial and error, dog. <laughs> Trial and error. I never dented one, but I put a lot of baseballs into a lot of garage doors, oh, and then was yeah. convinced I had destroyed them. Sure. A lot of just like, Hoo! you hear that sound? Uh huh. <laughs> Breaking a window was brutal too. I don't think we ever. I don't think I ever broke a window. Really? Uh huh. Uh-uh. Man, I broke that garage window so many times. Yeah, I don't think we. I the don't cross think cross balls just. Psh. My brother threw a tiny trash can at the at a bedroom window and smashed it. And this evil genius somehow made it my fault. I got the blame for it because I because really? I upset him. Mm. <laughs> well, Toby shouldn't have been <laughs> temporary <me> insanity. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Nice. It's pretty good. Uh, it's a real foley move. <laughs> That's how you do it. Put the system on trial. <laughs> Flip flop. May I approach the bench? Uh, all right, let's see. This one's actually this. This is from Derail. Uh, that's pretty good. Are you garbage if you bet your kids on the over under on how long before Foley brings up food in every episode? Ooh, your kids. Yeah. Taking money off children. I mean, Hamburgers. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> and forty-seven minutes or whatever. <laughs> I hope you kids took the over. <clears throat> you give me a that call. would have to be the over, right? I mean. Did we just make it a whole episode about mentioning food once? I maybe. No, I, I talked about pierogies. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. sorry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> pierogies. You know, I haven't had a pierogi in a minute. <sighs> yeah. You know what they say is pretty good over there on the east side? That little Poland. Sure. Heard good things. Sure. Potato pancakes. Yeah. Is that a latka? Could be. Yeah. Along the how about Wilkes Barre? They have what they call them potato pancakes. They're the best they ever had. They're unbelievable. Mm-hmm. A little bit of salt and pepper. And we're off on food talk. <laughs> I just had a scallion pancake that was made like a burrito with beef and and sauce on the inside. Whoa! It was unbelievable. Scallion pancake should only come that way. That's crazy. The scallion pancake is underrated. Yes, man, that's really good. That's kind of like that place uh, at. Um, that the fellas hung out when we first got up here. That Kari place, what was it called? Uh, Kati Roll. Kati Roll. Kati Rolls are good. That's similar. to. That's like a, almost like a thin naan or something like that, right? But not to a scallion pancake, right? No, I can see the similarities. Uh, kind of. I don't. It's like naan bread. That's a scallion pancake. I know. Y- sure. Wait, what's the connection? A scallion to They're a, flat. If anything, it's more of a burrito. The rolls are rolled up. The roll. It's like an Indian burrito. That's how you had the sky and pancake was rolled. Oh, up. Oh, it was they, rolled up. They rolled. The I sky- thought it was cooked with it. No, no, they, they, I missed they, rolled up. What, I was in, what was inside? Uh <laughs> just delicious beef and Chinese sauces. Really? Where did you get that? Uh in Flushing at a after I went to the the chip and putt out there. Shot. About ninety seven. There you go. <laughs> Three holes. <laughs> Wait, no. Yeah. A million. Uh huh. Jesus. Two hundred ninety-seven. Two hundred ninety-seven on a chip and putt. <laughs> oh, you got the sky and pancake. It was delicious. Yeah, That's right. not bad. Don't, we'll talk about a talk about an all right day. 
Um, gee, this one's nuts. This is for Matt. Uh, is it garbage to do your parents' taxes for them when you're 17? I had to start doing my mom's taxes so I could apply for a FAFSA for college. I tried to apply for student loans, but my mom didn't do her taxes, so I was denied until I did them for her. She wasn't going to do it. Jesus. Give this kid a full ride. What sure. are we doing here? You're doing taxes at 17? That's didn't, a go-getter. I didn't start till 28. Oh, man. That's fucking crazy. That's all right. <laughs> Mom, this... I got an estate and you owe 97 grand. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way that mom was happy he opened up the no. books. No, no. No fucking way. Yeah, he got a good deal on, <laughs> on, on fucking a scholarship. Gee, she had to be like, you stupid. Don't go asking questions. You don't want the answers. Sure. Yeah. Should have tried harder in sports. <laughs> Bust my balls. Bring me into this. The good news is I'm moving in that dorm with you. Yeah, <laughs> They're God taking damn. the house. Uh, all right. We got to wrap it up, gang. Gang, we love you to death. Uh-huh. And we're going to see you next week. Yes, sir. Peace. Peace.